Where can you go from Tucson, Arizona? What surrounds us? How far away is the water? And what kind of day trips and weekend getaways can you enjoy while living in Tucson? That's what we're here to discuss. I'll be giving you a general overview as diving deep will come more like one trip at a time. Let's get into it. Tucson has an international airport and has direct flights to several major US cities. But for the rest of your destinations, you'll have to connect in one of these other cities first. It's a small airport, it's easy to get to, cheap to park at, and easy to navigate. You can always drive to Phoenix to get more available flight times and destinations, but flying in and out of Tucson is a pleasure when you can do it. If you get in your car, from Tucson it's about an hour and 40 minutes to the center of Phoenix, which is north and a little west of Tucson. You can get to San Diego in about six hours, or Los Angeles in about eight, traffic permitting and to the Grand Canyon, also in about six hours. Head off to Las Vegas and be there in about seven hours. Santa Fe, New Mexico is also a seven and a half to eight hour drive. You can get to the Four Corners, where Arizona meets New Mexico, Colorado, and Utah in seven to eight hours. Day trips or weekend trips might include Mount Lemmon, Madeira Canyon, Bisbee, Prescott, Sedona, and even the Grand Canyon. There are lots of really awesome little day trips to cooler temperatures and completely different vegetation. If you take about a 45 minute ride, for example, up into the Santa Catalina Mountains, just north of Tucson proper, you'll feel temperature relief in a few short minutes. It quickly climbs to an elevation of nearly 10,000 feet and cools off between 20 and 30 degrees from the base of the mountain. This trip up Mount Lemmon takes you through at least five unique ecological zones and journeys from Sonoran Desert, where saguaro cacti grow, through semi-desert grasslands, oak woodland, to a plethora of aspens and pines at the top, with tons of opportunities to picnic or camp along the route. There is even a small ski resort at the top. For more popular ski getaway, Tucsonians often travel just about four hours north to the White Mountains to towns like Pine Top and Cholo. Now, if you're from one of the coastlines, you might be asking, where is the freaking water? So obviously, as I said earlier, you can head to the California coast and be on the beach in about six hours by car. Or in about four hours, you can be in Puerto Penasco, Mexico. If you're used to having the beach within an hour or so, Tucson might not be the place for you. For many, it's closer than they realize. And although we don't have any huge lakes like the Great Lakes in the vicinity of Tucson, Arizona does have a lot of nice smaller lakes to visit for all kinds of recreational activities, including water skiing, paddleboarding, kayaking, and general relaxing. Until I can dive deeper, I'll put a link in the info below the video where you can view a list of corresponding data for the lakes in Arizona. One more thing I'd like to touch on about Tucson is the traffic. Tucsonans often complain about the traffic here. There are no major highways going through the city, which means Unless you're on the outskirts of the city, you need to travel across tons of traffic lights to get anywhere. So it can feel like it takes forever. With that said, it's all about perspective. The traffic generally moves at a moderate pace, barring any accidents. And there are almost always multiple routes to the same destination. If you've ever spent time in any major metropolitan area, like LA, New York, Atlanta, Chicago, Houston, and even Phoenix, Tucson traffic is a dream. You're in most places within a half an hour, even on the other side of town. From most places around the edges of Tucson, you can be downtown in 20 to 30 minutes. I hope that gives you a good baseline of information about Tucson. I look forward to continuing to explore it with you. If there's a particular area or question you'd like me to explore here, please throw in a comment below. For more on the subject of Tucson, hit subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every time I release a new video, and hit like to let me know you appreciate the content of this video. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you next time on Living in Tucson.